it's no use. This is never gonna work. Well, look who it is. Hello again, friend. Oh, you guys. Marcus, wasn't it? You're looking a bit lost there. Need any help? Huh? Oh, nah. Not really. You're not pulling anyone. You sounded really upset just now. Don't try to pass it off as something unimportant. Indeed, why don't you tell us the problem, Marcus? We, we, we might even be able to do something about it. Hey, Adam. You're sticking your nose in other people's businesses again. Quit it. Now, Mithra, it always pays to help out your fellow man. You never know when you might need help in return. He has a good point. That's a fair point, I guess, but still. So, Marcus, care to tell us what's on your mind? Uh, all right. All right, Kyora. Thank you so much for the alert. Have a great night. I appreciate you. So, the other day, you lot helped me catch a load of bugs, yeah? I'm really grateful to all of you because you did an awesome job, but then I realized I'm kind of useless by myself. So this time, I decided I'd, go, I'd have a go all on my own. I even made these blueprints for a bug catching machine. But then, but then, I like tinkering mach with machines, so I know the ins and outs of them, but I've never made one from scratch before. I built L everything according to plan, but there's no guarantee it'll work, and now I'm dead nervous about it. And that's what you were mumbling to yourself about, was it? Pretty much. I have to say, making a blueprint like that is really something. It's clear how much time you've invested in this endeavor. Huh, you know how to build stuff, mister? I haven't the faintest idea. What? Dumbass. <laughs> Still, it's evident that you're really serious about this. It, it is? The fact that you're worried about its success is a sign of your determination. It's perfectly natural. You have a clear goal in your in mind, and you'll do anything to achieve it. Wow. Whoa! What is this? Oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. This is yeah, I this remember seeing this in the base game. Yeah, and the light is out and everything. What an incredible place. It's the matrix of our titans. What does... When the time comes... This is where blades come to be reborn as titans. You mean we'll all become titans someday? Oh, this is their big reveal. It's nice to be here again. After 800 years. Were you born here too, Azerta? Also, why I stick it so mm. much? I appreciate you. After all, I was a blade born from... The Tornan Titan. Oh, he remembers. Of course. I don't have any memories of that time. Once a blade becomes a Titan, they can live without being bound to the driver who awoke them. Mm. One day, they may come to watch over their children as the very ground beneath their feet. And 800 the years ago become eternal it's the basis of the torn and creed eternal bonds so what now malice said he was going to wait but can we really believe him now nah, malice is like joker he likes playing why so he was enjoying himself yeah, he likes I'd this. Say he's having way too much fun to stop right now. He said that humans long for death. And that he was happy to oblige. Benevolent servant. <sighs> hmm. So this is what it looked like before. And if if I played this first before the base game, everything would make sense, but 
I think it's very impactful to have played the base game and then played this. Hey, Yula. Hope you don't mind me asking, but are you the ones who go through the place helping people in need? Well, I wouldn't exactly go that far, but we do what we can, I suppose. Good enough for me. Name's Gio. I'm the local handyman. Listen, since you're here, can I ask you a really huge favor? Best be... best... this better be worth our time. Well, I won't lie to you. Won't be straightforward. Troubles of the heart never are. Troubles of the heart? <laughs> oh god, yeah. He's gonna turn into a heartless. Your troubles, I presume? No, no, it's to do with a pal of mine, actually. We share a table sometimes down at the local. He wants to send a custom-made gift to this lady who's caught this his eye. But that's not really my area of expertise. He wants to... He wants us to help his friends... Get a woman? <laughs> okay... On top of that, one of the key materials he needs is a rare ore that you could only gather at night. So he wants us to get jewelry for her. For this person to give to her. I think I know this stuff. Isn't that a pure stone? Hey, you sure know your geology. You only get it at Hangnail Crossing. And it's used to make sweet nothings. I... I think we should help them. It's a wonderful thing to be able to help love blossom. What if she just rejects him, though? I guess we could help out besides. It just feel weird to ignore it, no, ignore it now. Be honest, Mithra. You want to see this romance? <laughs> you want to see how this romance pans out, don't you? <laughs> don't put words in my mouth, Bridget. Alright, I think you've got the gist of it. Here's everything you'll need for the job. Uh, thanks. All that's left is to get the pure stone and turn it into something gift-worthy. Ander, I hardly need to tell you this, but it wasn't me who came up with the sweet nothings, alright? Sweet nothings indeed, yet who's to say the woman is even aware of this man's affection? See, that's what I was saying! <laughs> yeah, it is... Kinds. It is... <laughs> yeah, it is kind of putting the cart before the horse, isn't it? Anyway, let's give this a shot, shall we? Kingdom Hearts is canon to Xenoblade 2. You know, I said that joke like... Even when I was playing Xenoblade 2. Ah, uh, yes. I was asking for a relationship help for my friend. Listen, we'll, we'll try. Okay, we shall try <laughs> to help your friend. We'll try. Thanks, guys. This should be enough to get the machine run up and running. I'm close to finishing it now. Let me go and attach the parts quickly, and then I'll bring it straight over. What is it? What? It's a bug thing? What the heck is that? A furnace? Aha, so this is the fabled bug catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. Would you look at that? Now this, my friends, is a true work of art. So, how's this thing even supposed to work? You better not be expecting us to lug it around town or anything. Huh? Of course not! It just creates a smoke screen that insects get drawn to. You just have to take it to a place where there are lots of bugs and let, let it run. They'll come straight to you. Bravo, Marcus, lad. You are a legend. Thanks, but um, is it okay if I ask you guys for another favor? He wants us to put it there. By the way, we've come this far together. We could hardly quit halfway through, can we? We're a team, remember? Yeah, thanks! Go on, then. What was it you wanted to ask? Right. You know where the Herod Hills are? That's Herod Bull. I know, bad joke. Do we? They're near Feltley Village, as I recall. It's some way... It's some way out from the capital beyond Danae Desert. That's round about the palace where we first met, isn't it? Thing is, I'm looking for a specific type of bug, and I hear a lot of them are fly around the Herod Hills. I was wondering if you could take my machine there and collect some for me. 
Absolutely, we'll do it. Don't you worry. The bug catcher at Tobotron BGX5000 will be safe with us. <laughs> Adam is trying his best to appease a child. And what better way to do that but to praise them? Yeah, alright. I really hope this works. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, this being my first ever invention and all. I really want to know if it works the way it's supposed to, so make sure you tell me all about it. Oh, you can be sure of it. In the name of Torna, I, Adam or Origo, swear it will be done. Alright, we got it. What a hard... <laughs> hard bowl joke. <laughs> well, I know it's bad. <laughs> I know, I'm trying. Damn. <laughs> hey, Jen. That mask. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a knight of Torna now, Aww. there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. Oh, she just likes crafting. Huh? Someday I'll die. And just like that, you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Oh, she has a point. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Aww. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. Hmm. He, he kept this mask the whole time. And then he just throws it away after some time. Now. Yeah, that's her driver's license. Okay. Let's make some memories. Hooray! She's officially a knight! Yeah! Aww. Oh. Oh, here we go. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. Wow. <laughs> and naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. What a combination we have here. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. He wants to kill him. You'd each have your just share of dignity. We have here two horrible people conversing with one another. Oh, I think the Aegis tonight. Let's see. Like two 
it's too hard there, buddy. <laughs> Crystal, is it really true that certainly <laughs> I did give life to Malos? Oh man. It's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the architect's will imminent takes many able hands. Do you guys see his eyes? They just widened. The big reveal, Zetar was given the opportunity first, but didn't have the aptitude to be a driver. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing at that, but it was it's his character, that's it why it's so this funny. Is exactly what they wanted. Become Titans. Have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was How about you? And what do you think you said? Huh? I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly. I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jim. Still? Still? Being like this isn't so bad, either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships? New relationships. <laughs> Telling him to like keep going. Jin, there you are. Where you been? The capital's outskirts. I wanted to pick some ingredients. Oh, you're joking. This is the capital we're in. It's packed in to bursting with high class nosh around here. Why are you still going around foraging in the dirt? On the other hand, Jin's cooking really is unparalleled and there is a certain appeal to making food yourself. Yeah, okay, that's... That's spot on, actually. So I spoke briefly with Azurda. Oh really? What did he say? It was a difficult subject for me to wrap my head around. New relationships? No, I'm more than happy with what I have right now. All right, time to draw up some plans. To get the seal back, we'll have to make our way to the Tornin Core. Question is, what then? Malos implied that we still have some time. Mithra seems to, be, to believe we can take him at his word. You can, yeah. He's enjoying this, is he? Damn him. I know how you feel, Adam, but perhaps we should be thankful. His own... Hubris? Hubris? I, I see that word a lot. I just haven't gotten the pronunciation right. Has allowed us this chance. We'll use the time we've got to prepare for the battle ahead. Right, we need to be stronger still, or we'll never make it through this. The citizens are in fear of what may befall them. I believe you are the best equipped to give them the strength they need, Laura. What? Me? Yes, you are properly a Tornin Knight now. A Knight is not called upon solely for the scale in combat. It is also, our, also their duty to instill courage and hope. You must hold your head high and serve the needs of your nation. The needs of my nation? Feels like the whole world's resting on your soul shoulders, doesn't it? It's, it's not though. Remember, you're not the only one fighting to protect this country. I like the 
reinsurance from Adam. Because in a sense, Laura has a lesser position than Adam. But now her role here is important for Torna. Hubris? 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 Hubris. <laughs> oh, so it's hubris. Okay, thank you so much for telling me. We're a strange gaggle of misfits, I admit. But we'll carry that burden with you. Torna lives and dies by its people. We fight for it together. Every one of us. Right, give me a moment. I know there is not much time, but I'll see what I could do. Huh? Oh, is that the innkeeper? Oh, it is. It's Fred. <laughs> oh, look, it's Fred. Na, 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 na. Oh, okay. So there's more side quests being available. Yeah, as much as possible, I don't. I do want to gather um all of them. Oh, and then she's also. A quest. Pretty much every NPC here in this game is has a quest marker, it seems. Excuse me. Have you had any occasion to visit Toragoth recently? It's just that my instructor left for Toragoth and I haven't heard back from him since. Oh dear, how long has it been since he left? Weeks now. He told me it was becoming more and more likely that Torno would come under attack. Don't tell me that he left her there. He said he wanted to visit his hometown before the Aegis came and destroyed us all. Can you tell us his name? Yes, of course. It's Taris. Taris? He is in his 40s and he's a bit of a cautious character. He likes his daily walks in the countryside. I, th I think he just doesn't want to be here. <laughs> Heavy, thank you so much for the 32 bits. I appreciate it. Imagine 32 bit Mithra. Oh, like, um, like a pixelated version of her? I feel like someone probably has made her. Not gonna lie, doing pixelation is quite difficult. Um, I have done some pixelation work my time, but it could also be very, very fun. He's in this. Oh, okay, I read that already. Oh, and he's got a real passion for glasswork. I can tell he's very important to you. We'll start searching for him right away. Don't you worry. She's blushing a little. I can't tell if that's part of her makeup or it's because she really likes her instructor. You you will? Absolutely. I know what it's like to have someone you care about on your mind. We'll get Terrius back safe and sound, I promise. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry to trouble you. I can be such a worrier. I've been told he lives at the far end of Toragoth. If you could find him, could you tell him his student Charlotte's worried about him? Damn, imagine bringing him back and then this place is just gone. <laughs> Was it wise to tell her that, Laura? You know Toragoth's been, you know. I'm going to make a thorough search and, tell, and then tell her what we know. Whatever the truth may be. Oh yeah, she has a point because the whole place was destroyed. <gasps> what if he's actually dead? <laughs> I hope we'll be able. To oh my. Oh, <laughs> that's that's quite worrying. Phew, finally, that should be the last of it. Huh? Wh who's there? <laughs> oh, it's the freaking Nopon. Friends did well to sniff us out. What the? It's... It's... It's the Backstreet Nopon. It's the Beetle Nopon. Beetle Pon. Are you the ones who've been littering the forest? <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. That's good to hear that you're doing well, uh, Sir Kitty. That right. And may Ruru say, very well done. It take a person of many will wiles to disarm all traps of four muskerpon. But now we sorry to say that you met our, your match. Ruru, a thousand percent certain our friends will fail. Four muskerpon, never heard of you. Yeah, who are you? 
prick up ears and listen well, friends. We only make time for one extended introduction. Ruru. Kacha, kacha. <laughs> yoku, yoku. Komemi. Though not of same blood. We share same goal. We sink or we swim in same boat as one whole. We brothers in arms, born under same star. To not hear of name is thing quite bizarre. Four muskerban. No product nine minus five. What? Yoki Yoku and friends. Meh, that right? Is he meowed? That's right. Prepare for a dance battle with no pawns. What? You're all saying different things. Man, we agree. Yesterday would go with no panic nine minus five. But it all fl it flows so badly. Can I just tack on minus five at end? What problem with <laughs> four musker pawn? Me me me? Why so many dumb names? It clear Yoku Yoku and friends is superior choice. Excuse me, uh, whatever your name is, can we talk for a second? <laughs> I like the musker pawn. Look at these floof balls. Yeah, I wanna... We need to put them in no pun jail. You like the one with glasses? I wonder where he gets those glasses. Ordered any food? Uh, I just bought a freeze. Meme? Why exactly is strewing litter around everywhere? Because I think you should know that a sweet old lady asked us to clean it up for her so she can enjoy her walk. Could you please stop, stop this and go somewhere else? Me? Granny Ofa is obsessed with us? Granny, you know her? We sorry. We'll try to behave in future, me. <laughs> They're like, no, we gotta help up grandma. Alright, well, I'm glad you understand. This was... That was surprisingly easy. As if! What? What do you mean, as if? You thought we'd pack up and leave? Think again! Muscapon to me. We retreat for now, but we'd be back soon. Big bro always know what to do. Running away is also kind of victory. What? <laughs> hey! <laughs> they still go! <laughs> Those little nippers. I think it's safe to let them go. We've already singled them out. We need to only identify them one by one and this matter will be resolved. Looks like they ran toward the capital. All right, then we'll fur we'll ferry them out one at a time, like Hugo said. We better go and tell Ofo about this. Now we have to hunt the muskerpon. I'm actually quite sad there are no more gotcha bets with points. Oh yeah, there will be gambling for quite a while, fortunately. And on you go. Ah, what is this? A smoke screen for attracting bugs. Aren't you listening? It looks like a dehumidifier. Alright, remind me why we're here again. Okay, I'm gonna save too. Oh no, this one says Terrace. Damn, that sucks! He died! Yeah, it must have been made by someone who knew him. I feel so bad for Charlotte. I'm so sorry, everyone, but I had to make sure. One way or another, Charlotte will need some closure on this. I'm with you, Laura. I'd have done the same in your position. That's a sad thing about miracles. They rarely happen. Don't beat yourself up about it. Minot's right. It wasn't your fault, Laura. You don't have to bear that burden. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, guys. Do you think perhaps Harris left something behind that would that we could take to Charlotte as a keepsake? Like what? I can't see anything of worth left around here. Charlotte says he was a cautious man, in which case, it's possible that he would have predicted the attack. And we still don't know exactly why he came back here in the first place. I admit, I'm very curious. Then I suggest we start by investigating the area around his lodgings. 
Your Majesty, please watch your step. I'm sure His Majesty doesn't require that much mollycoddling, Aegean. What if he wanted to ask Charlotte for her hand in marriage? Like, I don't know. Do you think he might have known Mother? If he did, we hold him thanks. It must have been a hard life for her, all alone here. Yeah, if only we made it in time, we could have simply asked. Oh, Sleep type, Terrace. I pray you're in a better place now. Part of me thinks that with all these people who died in this game, you're mine now. That something's buried down here. In... Don't have to tell me twice. That we may see them in Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but they're reincarnated in some way? If that makes any sense. And it's not just three. I feel like in one we may potentially see back. like those NPCs or whoever died in that game. Um come back in three, if that makes any sense. That's how I feel. I feel like three is just purgatory. But I don't know. I have no idea. That's true to life, actually. There have been people, even to this day, who are still looking for their parents. And, like, eventually... They do find them. You're mine now. And in some cases, they may not just... Have to tell me they twice. may not be the, alive, living. Like... I can only imagine how they feel. How is this possible? Friends are... Are unreal, roly poly. I need to tell you. Malos is one hell of a son of a bitch. Okay. I I just farmed. He's a good farming person. Okay. Just saying. You know what? Put Malos in a freaking cowboy hat. Or something. A straw hat. <laughs> ah, Prince Adam. Long have I Long have I longed for the chance to speak with you properly. I'm really sorry, but we're actually pretty busy, so... Oh. No. Wait. Please, wait. <laughs> That's a bit rude, isn't it? I mean, I'm constantly going out of my mind with worry about you, Prince. And now this? It's... It's... It's heartless. Is what it is. And after I pledged the entirety of my heart and soul to you and Torna... Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> okay, we'll hear, we'll hear him out then. Oh God, <laughs> he's kneeling. He's like, I'm tired of this. And another thing, I've been uh, at your side since your royal childhood, and you've always been so, shall we say, cut to the chase already. Yeah, just 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 tell us what you want. Right, yes, fine. Say what you wanted to say then. Huh? Ah, right, indeed. <laughs> the earlier attack has caused a lot of damage to the capital, and the rubble is still being removed. In particular, the residential and shopping wards are taking time to clear, but we're short-handed, so I... Alright, I see the problem here. How about we help out then? Egad, would you really? You said you need hands, right? Well, the prince and the rest of us have some perfectly good ones right here. She's right. I would like to do my part also. I thank you, Kaiser. Huh? You... Aren't you the Ardanian? Shh. Let's not tell the whole country about it, shall we? Yeah, let's not look at the main character who looks vastly different than all the other NPCs in the area. And he looks like a child. With this many helpers, we should be done in no time. Oh, and let's not forget that there are also like... Like, peep two bodyguards right beside him that do not look like Blades either. Egad! <laughs> Professor Egad! With this many helpers, we should be done in no time. Quiet, let's clean up the wreckage from the residential and shopping wards and let's be quick about it. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> we never turn He's like, I can't believe this. 
All right, let's talk to Marcus now. Hey, you're back. So how'd it go? That's roughly what happens. I'm sorry we couldn't have been more help, lad. Nah, it's fine. It's not your fault anyways. It just proves my invention needs more work. This is... This was just a prototype. But I guess it'll be a bit longer before I can make that medicine for her. Medicine? What now? Oh, I think it's for the... The girl. Wait! Oh look, it's Gideon! Ever so sorry, but would you mind if I borrow a moment of your time? Um, sure. I couldn't help but overhear the word invention you see. Might we attribute this in invention to your esteemed persons? Oh no, not us. That honor goes to this boy here. What's that? This stripling built it? Yeah, aren't you impressed? Who's this geezer? <laughs> I think he's trying to help Freya. An excellent question, my dear boy. It is I, the greatest inventor that Torna has ever known. A man known only as Gideon. Um, I wasn't asking you. Now that's entirely besides the point. Gideon has noticed your talent, young man. Of that, you should be thankful. Oh, he'll help out. It's going good. I collected a few more Heartless cards and Rechain of Memories since last time I chatted with you on your live streams. Oh, that's good! Yes! The card game grind is real in that game. He's not even listening. What is your name, boy? M Marcus, what about it? Marvelous. Well then, from this day forth, Marcus, I would like to take you under my wing. How about that, eh? What? You want to teach me stuff? <laughs> nah, thanks. I'm not interested. Good heavens! Are you quite sure? Why, I can think of dozens of children who would jump at such a chance. Go ask those other children then. I don't want to. Dang! Wait, let me step in for a moment here. Yeah, put some sense in this child. Adam, please. Pardon? Marcus, look at it this way. Ultimately, you want to, to perfect your machine, yes? See, I knew where this was going. He's going to tell him to, like, go with it. Does it matter how you go about that? doing that? Isn't that what... Isn't what matters that you succeed? Ah. I think it would be best for you to learn the skills that you need from this man and then bring your goal to fruition. That is if you feel you could tolerate his eccentric ramblings. And I think this is well within the realms of your ability, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I get it already. So? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it a go. If this weirdo knows how to build stuff, he can teach me for all he's worth. <laughs> this weirdo. I'm not gonna let one stupid little failure get me down. Nuh uh. That's a good lad. If only everyone had your spirit. Yes, do it to help your friend. You sure about this? I was pretty reckless getting him fired up like that. I mean, he doesn't have a choice. It's either like let his ailing friend suffer for the rest of her life or just go with it. It'll be fine. He learned a valuable lesson today. That failure paves the way to success. True. That's very, very true. I can't I can't express how true that is. Roxas knock knock sorry who's there. Roxas nobody. Nobody was there. If you rise enough from the jaws of defeat once, you could survive in almost any environment after that. And that's not all. Oh? He also reminded me of something I'd almost forgotten. That anyone, if they believe in themselves enough, has the power to overcome any hardship. True. Very- I love Adam. When you're an adult, it's easy to lose sight of that simple fact. Yes! Yes! He has a very good point. <laughs> Is that a lesson you had to learn? Maybe? Maybe not. Meanie. Anyway, I think we're done here. Time we made a move. See you, Marcus. I'm sure we'll cross paths one again. Yeah, bye bye. Thanks for everything. Yes. What he says is absolutely true. I Thank love you. Adam. <laughs> and since surely everyone loves the sound of their own voice, there's no need for an off switch. I'm brilliant. I am Gideon. And I have this message today. I have created something called 
a megaphone. Do you hear this world? Are you going to use it? Buy your stuff today. Your Highness, everyone, you have my thanks. The Gormati special envoy arrived safely. Now the conference can begin. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, and he's shocked. Jacques is shocked. There are the Croatian troops and the Aegis. Not to mention the state of affairs in Moradane and Gormat. Ara seems to be heading for a period of unrest. We would like to hear your opinion on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. Hugo, if only you knew 500 years from now, Gormat would be annexed by Moradane. It will be done, your majesty. And later. You can give us your... Impressions of the Malosian honey that was so difficult to obtain. Honey, what's this all about? Oh, oh, he's trying. Arrest, unrest. Yeah, no rest, no rest for the wicked. Okay, let's see if we could talk to her. There's a quest for the stranded girl here. All hail Prince Adam. I love him. She's not okay, dude. She's dying. Yo, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> now that I think about it, the person that went to Gorma is probably dead. Uh, water. Oh no. <laughs> you need water right away. It's okay, I got you. I'm gonna be drinking it. That's good water. <laughs> I see there's work to do. <laughs> okay, let's help her. This is not water. What? How is a sour avocado gonna help her? Also, Hyacinth. <laughs> this quest is funny. <laughs> Hi, Char. How's it going? I need water. Momo hands you an avocado. <laughs> I was wondering what will happen to her if she stays in one place. Oh, I feel so much better. You really saved my bacon. Thank you. The name's Palva. Just an adventurer with a dream of finding fame and fortune here in the Danae Desert. Though, dream implies it might not actually happen, eh? Believe you me, it's definitely gonna happen. It has to. I was feeling pretty ravenous, so I chowed down on a couple of red pollen orbs I found in the green barrel. Uh... You should not be eating that. Then my body got really hot, so I gulped down a whole bunch of water. I waited for my par partner, but they never came back. When I ran out of food and water, I thought I was gonna die. You should not be staying here. You should go just go to Toronto and stay there. Why didn't you just go back to the capital? That's what I was thinking. Why? I didn't want to give up my lead. The legends say that the Dene Desert has gold just lying around all over the place for anyone to take. And my partner and I made it out here before anyone else. Hey Adam, you live here, you should probably know. Or is that true about the gold? Ask any Tornin school kid and they'll tell you that it is. No more than a legend then. Sh I should have known you were non-believers. Steady on, we're not doubting you. We didn't come all the way out here to dig because of some childhood fairy tale, you know. I got a machine that tells you exactly where the gold is. Damn, she got it ready. She has a metal detector. <laughs> I see. A gold detector. Hey, wait, isn't that a Roomba? <laughs> it's just a Roomba. <laughs> So that's your hidden weapon, a Roomba? Precisely, my partner hauled it up in a load of salvage. That's just a Roomba. All it needs is a gravitonic clutch, and it should be up and running and sniffing out gold like nobody's business. 
Tell me that does not look like a Roomba. <laughs> the machine doesn't look that amazing to me. Palva! Is that your partner? You know what? I could just run up to it and kick him. <laughs> Four! <laughs> Touchdown. Sorry, dude, is slightly late. Oh, this is... Oh, this is one of the quests. Where it unveils another quest. Slightly? I nearly shriveled up and died of thirst out here. Biggest apologies. Oh, wait, it's you. <laughs> we may have friends are the same friends who helped Dadan before. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, salute him. Wait a sec. Dadan? You know these people? Yes, yes. Friends are big help when Dadan needed to get Galvatonic Clutch. Wow, small world, eh? Anyway, this isn't the time for idle chit chat. No, Sari. We need to get the Fortune Finder Matron 4000 up and running. You call. That's a Fighter Matron? 4000. That's just the Roomba 4000. The Dan on it. How dare you, Momo? My precious Roomba will find the treasure for me. <laughs> it's a Roomba! <laughs> All done. <laughs> Does it work? Does it work? When switch on, the machine will run all over Danae Desert and find gold that buried in sand. Probably. Don't tell me this is an escort mission. Fortune Finder Matron 4000. I'm sh This Finder Matron might as well help me find myself in life. I'm just kidding. Wow, pretty impressive. It's some high tech wizardry, that's for sure. Right then, did end. My old matey, time to close our eyes, cross our fingers, and dream of gold. Switch on now! Don't tell me you have to find the damn thing. Oh, it's back. Did it find anything? Did that? I noticed that the fortune matron failed to find her mat. Finder Matron, any fortune. Rime? It turned out that Didan's self taught engineering skills not sufficient. You bloody no pawn? Damn, she's getting mad at him now. I sunk every last penny of my savings into modding the FF4000, Final Fantasy 4000, so it better produce results and fast. <laughs> Machine need remodel by expert. Oh, that's where Hugo comes in. Like crazy inventor who live in capital or anyone, please to not pressuring the Dan anymore. He seems to have cracked a little. Hey, please help me out. The Dan has already outlived his usefulness. So you're all I've got. To tell you the truth, I'm a little curious myself as to whether there's any gold in the desert, so why not? Yes indeed, consider my interest peaked. Okay then, let's go and find someone who is good with machinery. What do you mean? Hugo is liter- Oh, unless he's talking about Gideon. Fortune. <laughs> Fighter Matron. Fourth that. Wait, what? Community lost? <laughs> I didn't even know that it was a thing! <laughs> Hi, Hannigan, how are you? We lost someone from the community. <laughs> you lose community? <laughs> you know what's the funniest part about this? It was the no pawn that we lost. <laughs> I didn't even know you could lose a community member. 